this lecture i am going to start new topic of the computer aided process synthesis so let's start so chapter name is synthesis of heat exchanger network and topic is heat integration methods in last lecture we have seen pinch technology and we have also solved numerical based on pinch technology in this lecture i will explain you how to write step wise design process for temperature interval method or pinch design method you can see on the screen discuss the pinch design approach for minimum utility requirement by using this concept we can find out minimum hot utility requirement minimum cold utility requirement and we can also find out here heat capacity flow rate for hot stream and cold stream but before that you should know this method is also known as the temperature interval method and this method is used to in process industries to minimize the energy requirement and this concept is nothing but process integration or energy integration this is nothing but the figure for shell and tube heat exchanger you can see here after that now you can see on the screen these are the assumptions for pinch technology first assumption is process should be steady state means whatever the parameters involved in process industries all those parameters are not varying with the time after that it should follows first order and second order of the thermodynamics means energy neither be created neither be destroyed according to the first first law of thermodynamics and according to second law of thermodynamics heat always flow from the higher temperature to the lower temperature and finally this flow should be in a counter current mode means all those streams are flowing in opposite direction to each other this is nothing but counter current flow now we will see steps involved in pinch design approach before that i told you in previous slide as well that this method is nothing but temperature interval method so we will see now steps involved in the pinch design approach first step is first identify all hot stream and cold streams after that now you have to find adjusted temperature by using delta t minimum how to find that you have to just divide that stream into two equal streams means if delta t minimum is equal to 20 degree celsius you have to divide that 20 by 2 means you will get adjusted temperature that is nothing but 10 degree celsius in last lecture we have solved numerical on this topic where delta t minimum is 10 degree celsius and adjusted temperature is nothing but 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 degree celsius next step the, you have to find here shifted temperature table to find out shifted temperature table you have to do here you can see fourth point to find shifted temperature table add adjusted temperature in cold stream and remove the adjusted temperature from the from the hot stream and next step is to find stream population table where we have find out various delta h value cpc value cph value after that extra utility value i will explain you all these steps now in this slide you can see on the screen sixth step is nothing but first step in a stream population table is write down shifted temperature in a decreasing order so in stream population table first point is nothing but you have to write all the shifted temperature in decreasing order after that you have to draw temperature profiles for all streams all streams means nothing but hot stream and cold stream in last lecture we have seen there are four stream first one is the h1 stream h2 stream c1 stream and c2 stream so all these streams you have to draw here temperature profiles for h1 h2 c1 and c2 after that you can see here then find temperature difference by using shifted temperature data means first first column in a stream population data is nothing but your shifted temperature you have to write all this temperature in a decreasing order after that in a next column you have to draw all temperature profiles in a third column you have to write temperature difference by using shifted temperature data next one next step is to find out summation of cpc minus summation of cph it is nothing but the difference between combined heat capacity flow rate for the hot stream and cold stream so you have to find this difference for this difference we will use temperature profiles in last lecture i already told you how to find this delta cpc minus summation of the cph how to find this summation of cpc minus cph now we will see here next point that is find out delta h by using heat flow rate and temperature difference 
we know that sensible heat is given by mcp delta t so mcp is nothing but heat capacity flow rate we are having this value in our question directly so mcp is nothing but your value for the heat capacity flow rate you have to just multiply that value by the temperature difference which we have find in earlier step by using shifted temperature data so this is nothing but step number 10 here you have to find delta h value by using mcp delta t after that 11 step you have to find here surplus and deficit values of enthalpy using delta h so here you have find delta h value by using shifted temperature and heat capacity flow rate now in this column you have to find here surplus or deficit value of the delta h so you can see here now then identify minimum or most negative value minimum value means nothing but most negative value from the surplus or deficit column then you have to mention that value in the extra utility column that is then you have to mention that value in a extra utility column that is nothing but your topmost row of the extra utility column and that heat is nothing but minimum hot utility requirement for your process steams after that you can see finally calculate remaining values for the extra utility by using this minimum hot utility value and delta h values after that finally after completion of the stream population table just observe which value is the negative in extra utility column corresponding temperature for that value is nothing but pinch temperature after that you can see topmost value in extra utility column is nothing but minimum hot utility requirement and bottom most value in the extra utility column is nothing but your minimum cold utility requirement you can see on the screen now this is nothing but stream population table we have solved this numerical in last last lecture as well where i have explained you how to find all these values so in this lecture i have explained you all these steps is how to write in exam all these steps so we will quickly revise quickly apply those steps in this table now so we will get better idea related to the stream population table so what we have done firstly we have calculated we have first find out all hot streams and cold streams after that we have just find out temperature shifted temperature before that we have calculated adjusted temperature and that adjusted adjusted temperature value we have added in the cold stream and we have removed that value from the hot stream after that we got shifted temperature and in this table we have written those value in a decreasing order in the first column you can see in the first column we have written those values in a decreasing manner after that we have drawn here temperature profiles for the h1 stream h2 stream h3 h4 if there is available h3 stream and h4 you can also draw for the those hot streams but here only two streams available in last last numerical so h1 and h2 and after that c1 stream and c2 stream those are nothing but cold streams after that we have calculated delta t i told you to calculate delta t values you be used here shifted temperature values so to calculate for example to calculate 40 we have used here 225 minus 185 similarly we have calculated here all these values after that just apply the rule we have seen for the summation of cpc minus cph to calculate this heat flow rate values for the fourth column that is nothing but summation of cpc minus summation of cph after that we have to calculate here delta h value this delta h value is nothing but sensible heat in formula for that we know that is nothing but mcp delta t so mcp is nothing but summation of cpc minus cph okay and delta t is we have calculated here delta t in a third column just multiply this fourth column and third column you will get here delta h value we have to calculate this delta h value for all the temperature is all the shifted temperature after that you have to find here surplus and deficit i told you in previous slide as well this is nothing but next step of the pinch design or temperature interval method so here you have to find out surplus or deficit value from the delta h enthalpy after that here that is, that value is nothing but minus 2360 whatever the value that is the most negative value you have to mention that value in the next column that is nothing but extra utility requirement and i told you extra utility requirement is 
nothing but the minimum heat utility requirements. That's why we have considered here negative most negative value from the surplus or deficit. That value you have to mention in the extra utility topmost section. After that, by using this extra utility and delta H value, you have to calculate remaining values from the for the extra utility. After calculating, you have to just observe which is the topmost value that is nothing but your minimum for utility requirement and the bottommost value that is nothing but your minimum old utility requirement. In this manner, we can solve this numerical based, based on the temperature interval method or pinch method. So, this is all about this method. What we have seen in this lecture, I will explain you related to the assumption of the pinch technique. After that, how to solve this numerical, what are the steps involved in this numerical and uh, how to find this, which, uh, which type of answers we can, which we can get from this solution that is nothing but minimum hot utility, minimum cold utility, heat flow rate for the cold steam, heat flow rate for the hot streams. So in this manner we can solve this numerical, this numerical can be asked in your exam for 7 marks. Okay. So this is all about this lecture, we will continue in the next lecture with the next topic. Thank you very much.